kind of a special gadget too. Like we are, you have a very high voltage inside this, right? You have uh, 240 volts here, right? And it is actually dropped down by this gadget to 110 volts, right? 110 volts mean uh, like you know this is the like you know usually like you know some of the other countries they use 110 as the voltage you know, so this is actually imported from US so that works in that uh, voltage so between these two edges it says like danger very high voltage right there's a kind of very apply a very high voltage across this line that is switched on I can't remember uh, can't see whether it is switched on Let me check, double check, whether it is going to work. Ah, it is switched off. Ah, right, now it's on. So, we will, yeah, let me close that also. Ah, there you have. So, uh, you, like, you know, these, these uh, gas tubes, these are gas tubes, right? These are kind of gas tubes. Inside this, what you have is iodine vapor. This kind of a gas tube, uh, this contains iodine vapor. I don't know whether you can see a kind of a closer image. This, there's an electrode here, you have an electrode, small electrode. On this side also, there's a small electrode. This is like a cathode discharge tube. Only thing is, inside this, you don't have hydrogen. You have uh, iodine vapor. Iodine vapor trapped and uh, you apply a kind of a voltage across this. When you apply a voltage, we should uh, see some kind of a color in it, a different color. So, look, you know, you get, uh, doesn't work. Try the other way around also. Very embarrassing. <laughs> well, I'll try another one. Does I, I don't know whether. Wait. Wait. Ah. Yeah. So you can can you see like in it works? Here? That's the experiment. Right. Okay. Now, this is argon. I don't know whether whether it will work. We will see, huh? Very embarrassing. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it works. So you get this kind of like you know, kind of very nice, uh, nice intense color, right? You can see there's a plasma here, plasma here. It glows and gives you this very intense color. And if you if you pass that light through a prism, you should be able to look at those spectral lines that we talk about, right? Maybe uh, some, I'll, I'll try that iodine wave. I don't know whether it is burned now. That glass discharge tube. Uh, I think it's. It's dead. Hurry, come on, man. It's all right. Right. Let us take another, another spectral tube. They are also kind of. What is this? This is helium. Inside this, you have helium. Let me check whether this is this is also going to work. Ah, there you have that kind of very intense color. It gives you a different color. Right? You see that the plasma, glowing plasma, right? generates ions in it and then it glows in a different manner. That is the spectral line. If you pass this through a prism, you will see all these different, different, different lines that you can uh, you visualize to see. Really warm, right? That's uh, another one. This is normal layer. I don't know whether it will work. This is normal layer, perfect sample of air, right? gives you this, if you like, you know, kind of various types of gases are mixed, carbon dioxide is there, oxygen is there, helium, uh, nitrogen, all of them gives you this kind of a uh, spectral light. Yeah. That is that one. Let me give you another example. This is Krypton, not the Superman's Kryptonite, huh? Well, this is uh, Krypton, the element. Let us see whether it will work. Yeah, it will give you also kind of, there is a kind of glow here, 
like ionizers, like you know, if you look at this closely, you will see these things working there, right? How these ionizing take place, different colors, right? They are also like formed as uh, canal rays. We see them as canal rays as well, right? Okay, so that's the and I had a lot of uh, these kinds of bulbs, but couldn't go bring all them, all of them together. But then I hope you saw them, right? Okay. Let us get rid of this and continue our story. We can look at the spectral lines also. I can show you how the spectral lines appear. But then you can't show it in a kind of a, like you have to look at it one by one by watching this. Right. Okay. All right. right. So what are the things that we know now? Now you are, you are better than we started today, right? You feel electrons, you know, energy levels, different energy levels are there. Inside these energy levels, you have sub-energy levels. What are the sub-energy levels? S, P, D, F. One is sub-energy level. How many P sub-energy levels? How many? Three. How many D sub-energy levels? Five of them. And how many... F sub energy levels, seven of them, right. Inside these, you can have a maximum of two electrons in each sub energy level. They are defined using four quantum numbers. What are the four quantum numbers? What are the four quantum numbers? Principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. Principal quantum number starts from 1, 1 to infinity. It defines the main energy level. What is the azimuthal quantum number? Azimuthal quantum number n minus 1 to 0. It defines the, the type of sub energy level or the shape of sub energy level. Right? And then magnetic quantum number, it defines the orientation of the sub energy level. Right? And it comes, it, it, like you know, it uh, is defined from minus L to plus L. And the last one is the spin quantum number. It defines the spinning of the electron, whether the electron is spin clockwise direction or the electron is spin anti-clockwise direction. So, these are the ones that are there. If somebody says, somebody says 3, 2, 1, half, plus half, what is that? 3. Third energy level. Two. Two D orbitals, these green orbitals that are there, right? One plus one. Let us say plus one. What is that? Which one is plus one? Minus two. Can. Minus one. Zero. Plus one. So this is the orbital. Inside this orbital, how many electrons you can have? Maximum. Two electrons. Out of that, you have one spinning clockwise, other one spinning anti-clockwise. So, what are these spin clockwise, other one spin anti-clockwise? So, we put this bit like that. But, you know, don't write it there. We are, we, will go in, we are going to look at the rules that is there. Right. Okay. Now, now we know the structure. Huh? We, I, I told you that there is a building here. We talk about this building. Right? Building is nothing without people. Right? It's just a building. Right? Like that, an element, an atom is nothing without electrons. We need to fill electrons to it. So, how are we going to fill electrons? Electrons are filled according to three rules. <laughs>